Want to try it in German? No, no. German-Russian mix? Maybe English, no. Okay, let's do English. So, you won? Normally, yeah, yeah. You loved your position, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, of course. It was course. easy game, yes? Well, not that easy, but yeah, of course I loved my position. Why does he does? Why, why does he torture himself like that? Did he tell you? Does he like to be tortured? No. Does he but seem it's, masochist? Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. He likes to play this structure. You know what? I had uh, one game against him. Mm -hmm. It went, I think, like this. How did it go? Uh, I think that was the game. Mm -hmm. And he played this move, which is already a bit strange. I don't remember. But then we had like this position. Some better version. I don't think I played. C I don't, don't remember. Like, this position is already plus one, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know. He, maybe he likes uh, to be worse first. I don't know. I don't know him personally. He's a strong player uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. But today was a little bit too easy for a strong grandmaster like yourself. Well, I don't know. I used to play the same uh, structure with black in my childhood. All my childhood, it was. Yeah, but then, back then people didn't know that it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, I think it's called Rubinstein variation, and all these maneuvers with knight from uh, a5 to f7, and then back, and okay, it was just too passive. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's uh, dig in. So this is like just just last question, then you can take the mouse. Yeah. Um, this is uh, like the the new best move, yeah. Ninety two old main line, meh, too complicated. Just no. as an engine, take the space, then. No, actually, the... I think that knight bd two and d five. Uh, these are two main moves. I mean, I think that d five is uh, a little bit uh, more precise than knight bd two because okay, knight bd two. Many options for black. Uh, Okay, not so many, but probably he was going to play uh, CD, CD, and Knight C6. Yeah, one of the main lines. Yeah, yeah okay. I think it's, it's the main line. I saw his game against Shiro, and I just wanted to avoid. I think that it should be also slightly better for white, but uh, I just wanted to avoid. I played also this position uh, a few times. Uh, okay, so for uh, D5... Uh, Okay, d5 gives uh, an extra opportunity, uh, knight c4 instead of bishop d7, bishop d7. Mm -hmm. uh, like b3, knight b6, and, and so on. Uh, but okay, he played uh, bishop uh, d7, b3, knight b7. Uh, I think that uh, he played g6 before in this position. Mm -hmm. Now he went for knight uh, b7. Okay, the idea is very clear to play a5. That's why uh, white are more or less forced to play c4 because if I play just a normal move like like knight bd2 for example and he plays mm -hmm. a5 and mm -hmm. okay it's it and doesn't c4 a4 or what's the uh, yeah c4 I think that a4 just a4 mm. also b4 might be a move but okay just a4 yeah mm. so uh, okay c4 it's I think it's more or less theory knight u8 it was uh, um, let's say the, the, the first uh, new move for me, but okay, knight c3, logical, g6. Yeah, and here, uh, okay, it's it's white has uh, more like only plan to, to avoid g, uh, f5, playing like g4, maybe mm -hmm. bishop h6, uh, king h2, rook g1. Classic. Uh, yeah, classic, knight to uh, bring my knight to g3, but... Uh, well, I was thinking about um, correct move order. Uh, should I go? F should I start with Bishop H6? I didn't like the um, that uh, after a few moves he will play Knight D8, Knight F7, mm. like in our game, and I have lost um, mm. time. Yeah, so something like that. So I played G4. Uh, okay, H5 uh, here is definitely too optimistic. Just G takes H5. Uh, knight g7, king h2, yeah, here h5. Uh, I mean, it was, um, let's say, the, the, the only way to... Um, in which bishop h6 has some benefits, let's say, compared with this line, because mm -hmm. bishop h6 mm -hmm. stops this counterplay with, with h5 completely. Mm -hmm. But this position also should be... Uh, okay. 
But um, very dangerous for I back I take just rook g1. In this line, you're forgetting that he didn't plan to play a single uh, active move in the game. He didn't want to do that. Well, okay, he's trying to play h5 or f5, at least trying. So, trying. Yeah, trying, okay. Uh, so, yeah, after rook g1, I think that he has to play king h7 because, okay, knight e5 is hanging. Maybe some other moves. Knight e4, I can just take and play knight e2 at least. And it looks l just uh, just winning position for white. Bishop f6, bishop e5. Okay, bishop f6, I can just take just on take f4. Him. Yeah, just take on f4. Yeah. I think Maybe that show us to our viewers how... Just take, okay, take. Yeah, with, such, with such a knight on b7, yeah, like queen d8, let's say knight g6. No, okay. just knight g6 and yeah, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, h5 I can just take, yeah, knight h5, rook g1, king h7. Yeah, and uh, here I have Sorry, a pleasant choice. Sorry, stupid question. Yeah. King g7, rook h8? Is... Uh, oh, wait, king g7, uh, knight trick. takes e5, yeah, yeah. Okay. at least. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So king h7, probably. Here I can play knight g5, maybe some other moves as well. So I was mm -hmm. considering this mo this position uh, a bit uh, when, I played, mm -hmm. when I played g4. So, uh, okay, so... So when were you out of book exactly after after, after 98. 98 98 yeah but of course I, mean, I knew all these plans typical yeah. plans very typical there are many move orders which just understand the position you, know, you can't yeah. prepare with an engine anyway too much yeah of course okay i mean i i know that engine evaluates it like almost plus one maybe yeah. it uh, underestimates uh, uh or overestimates it a, a little bit because okay it has i i do have uh, much more space but still plus one I, I have a feeling that it's a bit too much, but okay. Anyway, so uh, he played this typical plan. Okay, so and here I spend a lot of time. Uh, I was considering knight e2. So should I take on b5 in some lines like it was in, in, in our game? Maybe queen d2 first, but okay. Then I went for knight e2, rook a b8, bishop d3, the simplest way, queen c2, queen c8. Knight if he goes b4, you go a3 immediately? Yeah, yeah. I and if he goes a5, you take and you get the c4 square, yeah? Uh, a5. Well, you mean without b4 or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably he should have gone like b... Okay, so knight g3, yeah, so probably he mm -hmm. should have gone... He should have played mm -hmm. like before a3, a5, something like that. Just give you the a file or what? Yeah, but okay, I mean, I can take, yeah. Uh, I don't know, play maybe rook a2. Yeah, it's it's very passive, but uh, at the same time, um, if he I tries to change to trade all the heavy pieces. Yeah, like queen b seven, rook e eight. Of yeah. course, it uh, it's in black's favor. So maybe I uh, I can just play like uh, rook e one, bishop c one, bishop b two, then queen. Okay, uh, it's it's a very long plan, but uh, anyway, uh, black has uh, yeah. almost no counter play. So like bishop c2, bishop bishop c1, bishop b2, then maybe I can move my queen somewhere, then mm. bishop b1, it's also quite typical. Yeah, yeah. and then... Rook a3 sometimes later. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, okay, and then, then this typical idea with, with knight e5 somewhere. Maybe I, I should start with knight h4, rook g2, something like that. Also f4 with my bishop on b2 is much stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, so still, uh, I I wouldn't say that it's 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 winning for white, but of course no, of it's course. just. Uh, Is it enough for an game. advantage if uh, you allow him to trade the rooks but not the queens? Uh, yeah, okay. Everything is enough for advantage. The, the yes, question is, smaller, is yeah? yeah, the question is how big th is this advantage? Normally, no without no advantage. Well, still slightly better. I have more space, but okay. Normally, it's just a draw. With, without a pair of rooks, it's also sh yeah. should be. Uh, I thought. It's draws. important to keep the queen because you're the one with the attacking plans on the king side. Yeah, definitely. It's important to, to keep as much pieces as, as I can because I have uh, much more space. Uh, okay, I have uh, much more space on, on, on the king side. And uh, another possibility was just to play uh, maybe four somewhere instead of taking because I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, but definitely it was a, a better uh, version uh, for him. Mm -hmm. You held uh, both of you held the tension for a long time on the queen side, and nobody wanted to do something until you finally. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I was afraid during the game as it uh, it it's it's not enough. I mean, um, if he closes uh, the, the queen mm -hmm. the queen side completely, it might be not enough. But okay, so he played knight g five. I took. 
so you just jumped at the opportunity to have to take an A4 or I thought uh, to me but I'm a patser of course um, knight takes g5 did not seem to make a lot of sense to trade to have a backward pawn I thought just knight d2 was there a tactical problem or uh, no there wasn't but I thought that it's in my favor such a structure because I have mm. uh, a lot of plans uh, also uh, like I played uh, in, in the game and also some lines with h4 somewhere mm. let's say uh, like I played knight f1 he played h6 okay uh, h5 looks active but I can play just bishop e2 and uh, all his active counter play is over while uh, this pawn on g5 is uh, weak forever mm -hmm. so okay well let's say he goes b4 before, before instead before. of h6 or uh, yeah, okay knight f1 before yeah okay mm -hmm. i play a3 probably okay. yeah a5 then is uh, it enough the question okay a3 a5 knight d2 the same way so what's your plan you want to okay if you h4. just stay yeah, yeah i, I just play stay. King, let's say yeah okay let's say rook f7 king g2 uh yeah now i can play Okay, let's start with bishop e2 to avoid any any mm. tactical problems. Okay, let's say you play like that. Okay, knight f3. Mm -hmm. You want me to go h6? H h6, yeah, then... And queen d8, just queen d2, yeah? Okay. Then I play like rook h1 Aha, somewhere. Okay. Then I take on b4, and then at some moment I play h4, knight... H, you, you should take on g4, I think, h6, h5, knight h4. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm not sure if it's enough, but with such a bad pieces, uh, knight on g7, it, it has uh, no good squares. I mean, of course, if 4 is a, a great square for this knight, but mm -hmm. it's impossible to reach it. The rook so can reach I mean, it. I mean, even if I give you like 100 tempos, mm -hmm. you, you, you can't improve this knight uh, yeah. significantly. Maybe you, sh you can put it on h7, but can, I'm not sure if can it's... Can I draw? You yeah, can, yeah, you, you can, can try. This. And then sacrifice the exchange, <laughs> then come here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> still bad. <laughs> yeah, still bad, yeah. There is a shorter road, like uh, like f6. 98, f6, d7, yeah, but okay. Yeah, exchange sacrifice I was considering, but it doesn't give black anything. I just put my knight on f3 and play e5 somewhere. Yeah. Also, I can suck my rook on a1 back in some lines. Mm -hmm. So the main problem is... It's this bad knight on g7, and okay, now uh, I don't have such an active plan with knight f5, but uh, this structure uh, is another uh, plus for me, so I wasn't sure uh, which is uh, the, the bigger plus. I mean, this active plan with knight f5 or just to play this, uh, this good structure. Mm -hmm. uh, so he played h6. Uh, yeah, knight d2, bishop d8. Yeah, now I think it, I should be winning after taking and playing a4. I'm not sure if he missed it or uh, bishop a5. One question, why n now mm -hmm. this? Why, could you have done it earlier? Uh, yeah, what, what do you mean, a4? Cb and a4. Uh, Cb and a4 because my knight is already on d2. Mm. It comes to c4 square immediately, yeah. so that's that's the reason. Didn't you bring this knight to g3 first? But it came from c3, yeah? Okay. Yeah, but I mean, uh, now black has no active counter player. Yeah, yeah, of course, the position changed. I mean, yeah, posi position has changed and uh, he has no f5, nothing, I mean, and he has a bad structure. So his problem is the queen side opens up, d6 becomes attackable, and your bishop on e3 is much better than the knight, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Okay, rook a7 was also possible. I was considering uh, this move, but um, why should I play like that? But okay, it was also possible. I mean, bishop takes d3. Uh, probably a rook b7. The knight really is quite horrible. Yeah, uh, rook a1, something like queen b8. Mm, yeah, but okay, so I just wanted to... Sometimes to you might have h4. Not yeah, now, but now, I just but wanted to avoid any, any complications, and mm -hmm. uh, that's why I played bishop c2, which is definitely a good move. Um, so bishop d7, rook a7, knight a8. Here I wasn't sure h4 was another good move. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I played, I like queen a5 because uh, any kind of uh, endgame should be winning for, for white. For example, like queen a5. Uh, 
I don't know if Rook, uh, he played Rook B3, he went Rook B7, okay, Queen D8 maybe, I was also yeah, considering. It's very passive. It's very passive, yeah. And also, ah, yeah, Knight F6, that's another move. Uh, here I can play, okay, probably queen, just Queen A6. Mm -hmm. um, probably he should take because Otherwise, this six is hanging. I was mm. also considering uh, this sacrifice. Uh, mm. I just take, he takes. Um, and uh, here I had a pleasant choice, but most probably the rook takes g4 was the strongest because another option was king g3. He takes. Uh, sorry? If you just uh, recapture this rook, what's. You just recapture on e3, what's the problem? Yeah, G4 or with uh, with pawn here immediately. Yeah, yeah. or h4 or what's uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you're now, threatening to trade queens and rook f3 can't work, can it? I wasn't sure about rook f3 to say, uh, but true. Ah, uh, because yeah. Maybe I should so take on c8. Rook takes, so that was the position. Ah, okay. I was thinking about, and he plays c4. Mm. Uh, should be winning, but maybe not that easy. Mm -hmm. Uh, but most probably I can just take on g4 here. He has no perpetual mm -hmm. and just take on d6. Yeah. I mean, d1 is covered. Uh, okay, he can try to give some checks, like. But okay, king f1, and I'm very safe. Yep. And d5 Agreed. is hanging, everything is hanging. Uh, okay, so he has no perpetual check. So I think that it's it's the most precise way to, to win after bishop takes g4. Mm -hmm. And if he uh, doesn't uh, take on g4 and place this passive line, okay, just uh, I have. Okay, it's similar with with the game. Uh, with uh, the only difference that uh, we have a pair of rooks instead of queens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he went for uh, queen a5, rook b7. Uh, yeah, I was uh, thinking about taking and playing queen d8. Another opportunity. Uh, I'm not sure. Probably he was going to play queen c7. Okay, king g8 uh, looks a bit strange because it makes no threats. Okay, so queen c7, queen a8. That was another uh, opportunity. Queen e7, king g8. Yeah, queen the problem is. is yeah, yeah, the problem of uh, uh, king queen e7 is that he plays king g8, and okay, it looks uh, very active. Yeah. To put my to, to bring my my queen on seven, but Mama his next Jarof, move is just uh, and rook f seven, and Please it seems that two. I'm lost. Yep. Queen has no help. Yeah, yeah, and uh, okay, I have some sacrifices, but it it doesn't help. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, instead of queen e seven, queen a, queen a eight, uh, this position also looks uh, pretty fine for white, but I decided to play a simpler simpler way. Uh, Your opponent played very quickly, no? Uh, yeah, okay, he, he knew this plan and he just... Uh, normally, uh, if you play knight g7, f6, knight d8, knight f7, uh, on on any wise move, you, you don't need a lot of time to... Yeah. Uh, okay, so I repeated uh, moves once mm -hmm. uh, to, to avoid some time trouble, uh, because I had a uh, lower time. So rook a1, uh, knight c7, queen a7. Um, yeah, that was my idea. Uh, queen takes a7, or he could have started with rook c8, for example. I take Your evaluation a... was technically winning, though, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it should be definitely technically winning. I mean, even uh, without a pair of rooks, I wasn't sure. Of course, I was uh, going to avoid uh, mm -hmm. rook exchange, but even without a pair of rooks, I wasn't sure. Okay, at least he has this active counterplay with knight to d4. Uh, my plan uh, should be some to play h4 somewhere. So bishop d1, h4. Mm -hmm. So maybe even this position is winning, but mm -hmm. okay, it makes no sense for me. So rook c8, and okay, it's it's a very passive position. I. Okay, probably his next move is bishop b5. Yeah, bishop d2, a5, no? Uh, bishop uh, d2, yeah, bishop d2 was possible, yeah. So I was going to play bishop d2. Okay, so he could have started with bishop b5 instead of 
uh, rook c8, let's say, so bishop b5. Um, I can take, for example, he takes, I play rook e7, uh, rook c8, and here I had uh, a lot of choice, maybe king g3 is a good move, I was also considering h4 here, mm. I wasn't sure what to play, maybe rook b7 is, is, is the best here, just to, my threat is to play rook b6. Uh, I can't move almost. Okay, he should play bishop b2, but now this bishop uh, can be trapped mm -hmm. in, in some lines, like mm -hmm. king g3, f3. So mm -hmm. it also should be winning for, for white. Maybe I can play even uh, before somewhere. I mean, mm -hmm. he has too, too, too many weakness. Yeah, king g7 before. Yeah, king g7 before, yeah. I mean, okay, his next move uh, is like uh, knight b5, but... Okay, so... I had a lot of uh, opportunities here, but that was one of them. So he played queen d8, uh, queen b7. Uh, the idea behind behind this move is uh, if I play uh, queen b6, he plays knight b5, uh, queen b7, now queen c8, something like that. So still it was possible to play rook a6 here instead of queen b7, but queen b6 seven is definitely much more precise uh, so he played bishop uh, c8 okay knight b5 with another opportunity i can just i was going to play just bishop d3 uh, okay knight d4 loses because of rook a7 and it's over he has mm -hmm. just one check and to kick in each one and no more checks he should resign here uh, and if he plays uh, uh, queen c8 here now I play queen b6, that's the difference. I I got much better version if he plays queen b8, now rook a6. Very I got uh, Yeah, I got a much better version uh, of uh, queen b6 mm -hmm. on move 40. So that's why he decided to play this, this passive uh, bishop c8, queen b6. Uh, actually, I thought that he was going to, to suck uh, on a6. That's why I played queen b6. Queen c6 was another good move. I thought that he was considering knight a6. Mm. Rook takes c6, but okay. It's it should, a sad move. Yeah, it's a sad move, but uh, it should be easily winning for white. I just... Uh, Prepare before. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I just and play... Then? No, no, I just play... I just move my bishop to d7. So if he plays, for example, queen uh, f6, like bishop d3, and he has no active counter play. Okay, h5 is just okay. I can play just bishop e2, and then mm -hmm. in the worst case, I can bring my queen yeah. to d2 and then grab this g g5 g5 pawn. G5 is so weak. No? Yeah. So okay, I should just bring my my bishop to e6 and to avoid any counter play. And uh, but I th during the game I saw that queen b6 is a little bit more precise because now after knight a6. Um, I think that queen takes d8 is another opportunity. I was not sure should I play queen uh, d8 or rook a6, but okay, it's, this looks also completely winning, just bishop c4. And okay, knight c2, rook. Mm -hmm. He takes, rook g8 rook is g8 only the only move, yeah. And just rook b8, rook b6, I just take this d6 pawn, which is... Uh, very important and of course uh, white wins uh, okay but still he could have gone for bishop a6 after queen b6 wait let's just quickly finish this exciting game and then you can show yeah, us yeah, yours yeah. okay so uh, okay I think that rook takes a6 I, I have to play here mm -hmm. and okay with, with transposition to knight a6 after queen c6 Okay, so he played this, this passive uh, king g7, bishop d3. Okay, so rook e7 immediately was probably good enough. Uh, I thought that he was going to play queen e7, bishop d3. Okay, he, here he had a lot of nice tactics, but uh, yeah, like knight takes d5. Who? What's happening? Uh, ah, okay. So I think that uh, that was uh, trap. What? Yeah, that was his trap. What? 
exactly what he was hoping it's for. It's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. But still, even this position, if I after I take and play queen takes d6, probably in this position is winning for white. Yeah. G6 is hanging, e5 is hanging. But okay, bishop d3 is uh, a bit more precise. I just avoid all these tactics. And for example, if I play a rook e7, queen e7, uh, queen. Ah, sorry, queen d7. Yeah, queen uh, e7, I can play just queen b8. And okay, still, queen d7, I, I also. Because here, if I play queen b8, now he has knight a4 move. No. I just take and, uh, no, sorry, not, uh, ah, yeah, sorry, bishop a6 here, yeah. So bishop a6 here. I can repeat, but uh, nothing better, probably. So I, I can play just uh, bishop d3 here, he takes on d5, rook takes, and it's also completely winning. Mm -hmm. C5 is canning, okay, knight d7, but okay, just bishop c4, bishop b5, any more wins, definitely. Mm -hmm. So it was another opportunity, but bishop d3 maybe is a, sl a bit more precise. So rook d7, okay, he's just, uh, it's just uh, a stalemate. So <laughs> so basically I just bring my my bishop to b5, to a5, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like... Well, it's not Zugzwang, but he can't move. Yeah, okay. And you will keep improving your pieces. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's a rare sight that uh, people have to resign without being down material, but that's one of them. Yeah, okay. No fun game for him. Yeah, definitely. No act. Did he ever pose a threat? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, five maybe it was a threat. Or... Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Like he was thinking about an idea. He was not posing a threat. Yeah, okay, but okay. sometimes it happens, yeah. It's a testimony of uh, your squeeze play, how you didn't allow any counter play. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much. Yeah, it was a you, quite convincing win. Yeah, okay, true. now let's give Arik a chance to yeah, show us his beauty. See you yeah, at the dinner. Yeah. Thank you very much.